I have the pleasure of speaking with uh, Professor Joseph Stiglitz, who is a Nobel laureate economist who probably needs no introduction, uh, a best-selling author, and most recently the author of this terrific and clarifying new book called The Euro, How a Common Currency Threatens the Future of Europe. You essentially argue that that uh, Germany is marinated in this idea that if you if you just keep a lid on deficits, no no deficit spending by the government, and you look out like a hawk for inflation, then you know the magic of the market, the, the confidence fairy, as, as Paul Krugman has put it, you know, will just take care of everything, and everything will be wonderful. Where does that idea come from? This is the the uh, striking thing. Whereas in the United States, uh, even many conservatives have rejected that extreme version. Mm -hmm. They say, when you have an economic downturn, you need some stimulus. In Germany, that view seems to be uh, an outlier. Mm -hmm. it, and in that sense, Germany itself has become an outlier in the global community. When the Greek crisis broke out in 2010, uh, what was really at risk were, were German and, to some extent, French banks. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was a massive bailout, called a bailout of Greece, but it was really a bailout of the German and French banks. Mm -hmm. Most of the money went to Greece and then right away went back to Germany and France. When you look at other aspects of the program, you see that it really is also helping special interest within Europe. There was a rule that fresh milk is four-day-old milk. Mm -hmm. If you're older than four days, you're not, you, you need to be labeled. Consumers mm -hmm. ought to know that this is not four-day-old fresh mm -hmm. milk, but maybe 10-day. So now, why was that important? You know, of all the things that were going on, why would you have a debate about that? Well, it was important, we think, because to the German dairy industry and 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 Dutch dairy industry mm -hmm. want to ship their mm -hmm. factory farm milk across Europe mm -hmm. and sell it to Greek consumers. Right now, that would devastate it, the small Greek producers. Right, that would weaken the Greek economy. Yeah, that would increase the balance of payments deficit. Yeah. So it was going in exactly the wrong direction from a policy that would have strengthened the Greek economy. So here is something that could only be seen as benefiting special interests hmm. in the Eurozone and actually weakening the Greek economy.